John O'Shea joins us on RaceNet TV. He's got a team of four going around at Saturday's Warwick Farm meeting. Um, we might start with Ashokan in the round with Guineas, John. Yeah, look, I haven't made a commitment to run yet. Um, obviously, he ran on Sunday and just let the week play out. And uh, we sort of did a bit of work this morning and we just monitor him over the next 48 hours and make a decision as we get closer to Saturday. Okay. Uh, we might skip straight over then to Night Exemplar. Um, it was pretty good first up. Condition gave out maybe over the last 1500. Oh, I think it was just more that um, those horses on that day that had to sort of that got back had to chase hard to catch up, and they sort of done plenty of work to catch up on the heavy ground, you know. So he made a bit of a dash at them, and then the last hundred, you know, the work that he'd done to catch up the rest of them probably just told. So. I'm very, very happy with him. He's drawn awkwardly again, but a race uh, that does seem to have a little bit of speed in it. Um, you know, the track on the inside there is probably just starting to get a bit of wear and tear as well, so it mightn't be too much of a disadvantage, And uh, but most importantly, we're very, very happy with him. Look, I know there's, uh, before his last run, I remember you mentioning a little bit of rain wouldn't ha hurt, but looking at his good track form last night, it's pretty good as well. He's finished behind Rebel Day and Jolie's Bay and Nechedia, his last three good track runs. Yeah, no, no, he's he's good on all sorts of surfaces. Um, yeah, he got through the heavy, but you know it doesn't really suit a horse with a turn of foot when you've got the ground like that. So um, we're very happy with him and expect him to you know, run very well on Sunday. And Romantic Moon in the uh, Sweet Embrace. Uh, very happy with the first up. Again, drawn awkwardly. Um, we'll probably sort of try to get in three to four pairs back. Just trot him around and bring it back. Um, just, uh, you know, I suppose it's whether she can run down Clary's horse. Okay. And uh, Colorado Claire on the seven day backup from last week? Well, uh, ambulance driver nearly run over her the other day. She was a little disappointing to say the least. Um, but go back to her first up run was very good. Uh, and I think, you know, again, probably a little bit of a a victim of running first up on a very, very heavy track. Uh, hopefully to bounce back on Saturday, ride her a bit quieter, uh, drawn her terribly, but uh, we'll just go back from the gate and see if we can't uh, get a nice positive run on the board and get her back in, you know, to the form we know she's capable of. Okay, and speaking out of that race, how did the steps in time come through the run? Yeah, great. Uh, hardly know she's had a run. I think she dropped one or two kilos for the day out. Uh, Nash very kind to her late, which obviously helped. and. You know, we're all going well towards um, you know a nice run in the Cornwall in a fortnight. Uh, it's a very competitive race, and she's going to be weighted up to her best because of her consistency. But uh, we're very happy with her, and hopefully uh, she can you know get up a little bit of black type in terms of winning a Group One. Good luck Saturday. Cheers, mate.